What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We have some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news content and updates for you guys. This is insane. We are here with the with the better and more accurate translations for the recent VGEM scans that were just recently dropped yesterday. Shout out to DBS Hype for releasing these VGEM scans. I will leave a link to him down in the description below. Thankfully, these VGEM scans are a lot better translated than other VGEM scans that are just randomly Google translated. So we can go through this all together right up here on the top. It says master. We already know that the theme for this is master and apprentice or master versus teacher or teacher versus student or whatever the freak you want to call it. I said master versus teacher. Ignore that. <laughs> This is the guide angel. This is the guide angel for the god of destruction. This is Whis. This is symphonic destruction. Okay, that is the same exact move. I said it in my previous video that that is the same exact move that is used in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. It has the exact same name as well. So seems like Whis is going to have a similar preset to the way it is in Xenoverse 2 based off of this move right here. It says the divine master and student. Whis is the attendant of Beerus of the god of destruction. Okay, whatever, whatever. Okay, we already know what that is. We don't need to read through that. We already know that information about Whis. His offense and defense are near perfection. Utilize his recovery skills to fight through long battles. That is a little scary, but hey, come on, it's Whis. The, the fact that he's even in this game and that he has the uh, ability to even get touched is insane. But, you know, it, it's... We want every character, you know? We want every character. Now we have here for Gohan and Videl. This is... I, I don't know why they have Gohan in adult here. This is not adult Gohan. This is teen Gohan. But anyways, this is Explosive Strike. Maybe they're trying to keep it true to the original Budokai Tenkaichi 3 series. If so, then cool i guess but explosive strike i'm pretty sure this is a move that gohan is setting up for in this picture right here then we have desperado rush this is not a move for videl that we've seen in any previous dragon ball game before so that's pretty cool as far to my knowledge at least you guys can let me know if i'm wrong about that uh, over here it says the adolescent master and student, the son of Goku and the daughter of Mr. Satan, Videl blackmails Gohan so that he'll teach her how to fly. She has a great close range attacks. Her blast and ultimate blasts show why she's a close combat specialist. And that makes sense considering the fact that Videl was more of a brawler. She didn't really know how to utilize key that well. Uh, she only really utilized key for the purpose of being able to fly like Gohan taught her She never really knew how to do key blasts or stuff like that But Gohan down here says an all-rounder that can handle both close and long-range battles his skills allow for both key recovery So it seems like he's gonna be very similar to the way how Goku is, is gonna be in the game uh, For when it comes to team Gohan here, so that's going to be good to see as well moving down here We do have future Gohan now uh, future Gohan for me at least in a lot of the 3d Dragon Ball games that he's been in specifically xenoverse 2 he's just been freaking trash <laughs> he's just been horrible so hopefully it's not that same way here it says go on future his skills allow for key recovery he primarily focuses on blast attacks this is the super kamehameha i i, I think super kamehameha i think they're talking about the one-handed kamehameha that he does on the androids they have it in xenoverse 2 i'm sure that they will have it here in sparking zero if they don't then that's a big l but i'm sure that they will as you guys know future gohan also has the ability to transform he will have that ability to transform mid battle thankfully go on future super saiyan his great at close range fights the high firepower of his blast is his main trait so it seems like they're going to be switching it with trunks and future gohan i assume trunks for sword at least is going to be more of a melee attacker mainly due to the fact that he has his own sword and then future gohan will be more of a key blast attacker if that makes sense based off of what these v gem scans say the trunk sword he specializes in sword attacks his blast attack is noticeably dangerous lightning sword slash which is the name of this tag i'm pretty sure that attack is the slash or the slash attack that he uses on mecha frieza uh, we also have here the burning attack from trunks you can see it right here burning attack this is fierce combination that's the uh, move set that you see future gohan use on android 17 when he like picks him by the leg and slams him down all the way on the on the top of the building or whatever I'm, i don't know if you guys remember that it's it was in the original budokai tenkaichi 3 if you guys are wondering about that but it says trunks sword super saiyan transform to increase your firepower your b burning attack will also deal significant damage so it seems like you'll have a basic burning attack which will be really really cool to see and he will have lightning sword slash which is also cool to see as well both of them may vary based off of his transformations as well because they will have different move sets for when they do transform so gohan and trunks will have different move sets 
in term not move sets but different attacks that they can use right like lightning sword slash I, I'm, I don't know if that move will be available when you do transform into super saiyan it might be um, that's not how it's always worked in every Dragon Ball game. Usually when you transform, you have a different set of moves that you can do. So it's just going to depend, which is why they make them as or they, they classify them as two distinct characters, if you know what I mean. But yes, that's it for this V-Jump scan. We're going to move on to the next V-Jump scan that has Beerus on it. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the Apprentice V-Jump scan here, more or less the Apprentice V-Jump scan here. We have Beerus right here, who is the student or the Apprentice of Whis, which is why he's the headliner for this V-Jump scan. Through training, they form a powerful master and student bond, whatever, whatever. Okay, okay, playable characters, volume three, master and student. The issue will focus on characters with a master and student relationship will explode everything from their unique bonds to their preferred play style so if you guys are wondering when we're going to be getting a release date after the most recent you know trailer that we had i would say that we should stop expecting a, a release date anytime soon it seems as if they are going to just be giving us more trailers and showcases on more of the characters that will be featured on the game rather than giving us a release date anytime soon they are still actively working and making changes on the game so it's very hard to put a pinpoint on when we will actually get a release date for this game so it's better to stop expecting it and just start expecting you know monthly you know to you know maybe quarter monthly or quarterly trailers that will happen from time to time because that seems what we're that seems like what we're going to get for the most part because they are going to be slowly revealing to us more of the character roster before the game comes out it says the free spirited of the god of destruction this is fear of destruction this is the exact same move that is in xenoverse 2 as well so just like we seems like beers will adapt a similar move set to the way it is in xenoverse 2 the problem is is that personally right the same way they're giving uh you know like really overpowered op moves to a lot of the characters that are on the game a lot of people were speculating whether or not they would give beers and hakai I think that would be way too OP. Like, what, what would the move do? You get hit with the Akai and you're automatically dead. <laughs> but that's a little bit too OP. So uh, I'm glad they're not adding in the Akai, even though it would be a little bit cool. But this is destructive power lives up to his title as a god of destruction. All of his attacks are dangerous, allowing him to easily overwhelm opponents. So seems like he's going to have more. I, I imagine Beerus having a similar playstyle and moveset to, you know, maybe like a Golden Frieza or something like that. Uh, okay, this doesn't seem like it's the evil containment way for Master Roshi. We're going to come back. Shout out to these people. I'll leave a link to them down in the description below so you guys can check them out. You know, huge thanks to them for the translations. But down here it says Turtle School Master and Student. The founder of the Turtle School, Master Roshi, and his students, in addition to the Kamehameha, everyone has devised their own style. It would be cool as they don't show it in the VGM scan, but as a teaser, they would show Kid Goku in early Dragon Ball but i don't think they will unfortunately but that would have been pretty cool but they should have og dragon ball on here right the original budokai tenkaichi 3 had you know og dragon ball from tau pai pai to tambourine demon king piccolo kid goku arale so it would be cool if they do add that as well maybe this would be a good opportunity to tease a kid goku but i don't know it's hard to say because he's not shown in the v gym scan but Thundershock surprise from Master Roshi. Originally, I thought this was the evil containment wave or the Mafuba, but it does not seem like that is the case. Unfortunately, that would have been so cool, but oh crap they, they they robbed us they robbed us <laughs> this is a master in hand-to-hand -hand combat your skill after mage strike will allow you to evade attacks for a short time a character that excels in both combat and key blast styles his control okay so this is for yamcha this right here up top was for master roshi so master roshi is going to be mainly a striker which is expected considering the fact that he won't have the ability to fly in the game down here this is the spirit ball that yamcha is doing he'll be more based off of key blast and a mixture of good strike attacks so that's going to be cool to see as for krillin this is scatter bullet this is the moves that he uses in the saiyan saga it says use your solar flare skill to blind foes slow down your enemies and escape tight spots so he will have the solar flare and a move called scattering bullet which is also shown in xenoverse 2 so that's going to be cool as well finally over here this is basically just a recap of what we've seen in the recent gameplay so there's no need to go over that but over here we have piccolo and kid gohan right so you have eternal master and student while being goku's nemesis he forms a peculiar master and student relationship with his son whatever whatever okay piccolo explosive breath cannon this move is going to be insane i cannot wait for it, it says utilize your blast to challenge foes in close and mid-ranged combat 
He is a balanced fighter that specializes in key blast attacks. And this is Gohan Kid. This is Wild Rush Blaster. I'm pretty sure this is the move that he does on Frieza. On third form Frieza. I could be wrong. Or second form Frieza. I could be wrong, but we're going to have to wait and see. But it says, gather your key and take down enemies with a B and UB attacks. Your key based skills are essential to victory. So Gohan is going to be less of a striker, more of a key blast attacker. And Piccolo will have a mid range combat sort of style, including a lot of key blast attacks. So Piccolo is going to be a little bit less than all round, but a little bit more to mid ranged and Gohan should consist of the same thing a little bit, or at least this variation of Gohan, right? They have yet to show youth Gohan, AKA teen Gohan, which is the Gohan that fought Cell. And that is the goat right there. I'm pretty sure they're going to save him for last. I don't know how or when they're going to reveal him, but that's the goat right there. Can't wait to see when they reveal that. But yeah, that's all I have for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. Let me know when you guys think this trailer will actually drop i have absolutely no idea yet i would assume within the next week or so but yeah that's it subscribe ring the notification bell i'll see you guys later appreciate you guys love you guys peace out hey it's me goku if you're new to the channel don't be afraid to hit a like and subscribe button so you can be updated for all the new content pbl gaming makes see ya